Hey guys. Uh, so let me apologize ahead of time. This isn't my usual format uh, for videos. And um, yeah, this is this might be a little bit rambly and disorganized because uh, it is not scripted. I, I've just uh, had a lot of thoughts on my mind lately and I just want to get uh, those ideas off my chest. Uh, generally, I don't really like like talking about these things out in public, especially in, you know, just out into the ether of the internet. But, uh, I guess just throughout the course of my life, I've never really had uh, any people that understand me very well. Like, um, I really love my family and my friends, but you know, they're just, uh, they're just different people for me, you know? So, uh, and you know, like, uh, the odds of anybody <laughs> in my audience, like kind of, getting anything I am saying like here like uh, those odds are probably pretty low but I don't know like uh, may as well try you know so uh, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, this drawing that I finished uh, a little while ago um, this is the very first digital drawing that I completed and uh, yeah a, a lot of work uh, went into this um, so, yeah, there was just a, a, a lot of ideas that were sort of focused and articulated here, and, um, and just the fact that I was able to complete this was just, uh, a, a huge accomplishment. You can, you can kind of say it's, uh, the greatest accomplishment of my life uh, so far, uh, hopefully, like, so far. So, uh, it being my first digital drawing is just, um, a huge milestone for me. Like, uh, I mean, just, uh, being fortunate enough to have enough time to work on something like this, uh, have enough freedom in my life to, you know, control my time, uh, having a nice enough job where I can afford, uh, the equipment I needed for this digital drawing. Like, uh, I bought, uh, this, I bought an entirely new computer, uh, for, you know, <laughs> like a lot of money and this uh, digital art tablet was uh, quite expensive as well um you know so i've i was really fortunate to uh, have the income to do this and then uh, also fortunate enough to kind of have uh, well i don't really think of myself as a good artist but you know just fortunate enough to have like some semblance of skill uh, some a little bit of intelligence <laughs> and just uh Mostly, um, instead of calling myself a good artist, I would just describe myself as extremely stubborn. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that more a little later. But, um, yeah, just uh, being fortunate enough to work on those things. And then um, a lot of my friends, like, when they see my work, they'll, they'll complain, like, uh, oh, man, I wish I could draw like that. Or I wish I could still draw, like, you know, like uh, some people, they're... I don't know, like, uh, their, their health just isn't good, you know, like, uh, like, uh, their, their bodies are falling apart and they can't, they can't really hold a pencil, <laughs> like, anymore, so just, um, like, even, well, even while my health hasn't been that great lately, uh, I guess I, I just want to appreciate the fact that I could kind of hold things together well enough to get this done. Um... So let me talk about the drawing a little more. So I I started this in January, uh, late January, and I finished the line art, like just the black and white lines in July. So uh, that was about six months uh, out of the eight total months, and this was definitely the most difficult part. I didn't really... Um, use anything new digitally like in my transition from you know traditional art into digital um essentially the uh, going over to digital art for my line art um, just allowed me to do more crazy sophisticated bullshit uh essentially i was just drawing this with a stylus essentially a digital pencil and you know, like uh, drawing digitally allowed me to just uh, make more mi mistakes and experiment with the lines, um, just see how the lines relate to each other. And uh, I put all the parts on different layers just so I can 
uh, figure out how everything fits together. That was uh, a really important step for me. So, and you know, you, you just looking at this thing, it has a tremendous amount of parts on there. Yeah, that's how it looks without all the armor on it. And and when it came to the line art, uh, there's there's an idea I was trying to capture where I wanted to draw something where well I wanted to draw a mobile suit where the like nothing on the mobile suit looked like it was two dimensional. I wanted everything to have some depth and weight to it. On the armor, I wanted it to look like uh, this is a thick piece of metal, and you are not getting through this, <laughs> which uh, I think I, I did a fairly okay job at, at doing. Um, yeah, pretty much wherever there's armoring on this, uh, it it looks like uh, it's got a good bit of heft to it, which is um, something I find is uh, a little lacking in some uh, other work uh, lately. So, yeah, so the, the line art was the most difficult part. Um, yeah, I was really happy after that was done. Uh, and then I did the, the flat colors essentially using um, techniques that, you know, I've been using for like over a decade, I think. Um, this is just vector coloring. Um, basically, I'm just tracing out the shapes with the pen tool and filling it in. Um, yeah, nothing new here. And then I went on to uh, do the shading with the same technique and, and do lighting effects and that type of crap. Uh, and I guess that took an additional like two months. So all in all, this was about uh, 350 hours of work, I think. And um, there's about f 550 layers uh, in this. Yeah, so all these uh, folders and subfolders contain all the layers. And normally you wouldn't need that many, but it was just because I had all the parts uh, separated onto separate layers. So um, yeah, that was sort of an organizational nightmare. So uh, now that I have this under my belt, hopefully my future drawings won't take as long. Um, I won't make them quite as uh, complicated, at least in the structure of the layers. I'm going to have to try to have all the line art uh, on one layer if I can, and that should simplify things <laughs> a lot more for me. Uh, but yeah, the, one of the reasons why I wanted to um, have all the parts on the separate layers was because I was trying really hard to learn... Um, I was trying to learn... I was trying to treat this uh, uh, this mobile suit as though it were a real piece of engineering. I wanted to understand um, articulation, like uh, how would the limbs move and how far could they move around, like uh, like when the parts fit together, when the armor is on top of it. So yeah, that was uh, one of the main thrusts of, uh, of uh, doing this. Yeah, so gosh, this took like 350 hours? So that that amount of time is is nothing to sneeze at. Like over the course of eight months, that was pretty much uh, almost all of my free time. I had to like kind of just put all of my hobbies aside to to work on this. And a lot of times, I had to uh, tell my friends no, I, I couldn't spend time with them because I had to work on my drawing. You know. Just all the times my my friends at work like asked me to hang out on the weekends. Uh, hey, let's watch a kung fu movie. Uh, hey, let's get something to eat. And I'll <laughs> I have to say sorry. I gotta I have to work on my drawing. Or you know all the times uh, my online friends asked me like Hey, let's go uh, play Gundam. Like will you be on the live stream with us? Uh, I had to, like I had to turn them down and say no. I, I'm working on my drawing. And just all all the nights where I was just. Uh, up really really late just like I was just barely holding it together and like, just working on the, the lines or filling in colors and Jesus just all the time I could have spent at the gym uh, instead of instead of working on this but um I'm 
I'm pretty happy with uh, how it turned out. Um, like it, 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 it mostly captures what I was trying to go for. Um, I, I wanted to do a variation where you know the the wing binders were open, but uh, yeah, I, I was I was pretty much ready to die. <laughs> this is too much time. Uh, maybe in a few months, like when I'm less sick of this, I can work on that. And then uh, I'm also very, very happy with uh, the geometry and the shading. It just, it just looks uh, lovely, like a uh, uh, put together. Like uh, especially, you can really see how three dimensional the legs are, all the the armoring and the thickness on there. Um, some of my favorite parts on this are actually uh, I really love uh, the skirt armor. Like just uh, the symmetry and the geometry on this is just uh, beautiful, like a really lovely balance on there. And then um, I really like uh, the geometry on the forearm armor, like it just comes off. Uh, it looks like it has a lot of depth to it, which is something I really like. And weirdly enough, um, this ankle armor right here, I couldn't really appreciate it until like I got a I got a printout of this drawing and I turned I looked at it upside down, and I guess <laughs> you can look at it upside down with me right now, but um, this uh, this shape on the ankle armor is just really goddamn neat. Like uh, it just it just looks interesting and I don't know. You could really see how it's. It's like it's its own part. It has its own form, and it stands out. Like, from, but it it stands out, but it still flows with the rest of the armor. Hopefully, that makes sense. Um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with the shape. Um, I'm a little bit unhappy with the coloring. Uh, mostly, I'm, I'm bothered uh, by this green I, I chose for the armor. Um, I you know I just took some. I just let people vote on the Discord and. They like uh, they were like yeah make it green and I'm like okay I'll try to make it green, but uh, yeah it, it is uh, it is okay. Um, looking back, I probably should have made it like maybe uh, just a different shade of blue from the main armor. Uh, maybe even purple would have blended better. But uh, yeah, like it, it's done, so I'm not gonna go back and redo it. <laughs> so. Gosh, the the amount of time. And the amount of time that this took, gosh, and so this is pretty much, it's the best thing I've ever done. And, you know, I spent all that time and I pushed it out there, you know, because, you know, all, all artists are narcissists and on some level of, you know, I put on like, you know, my crappy deviant art page. And, you know, after all that work and, you know, the people who did look at it, like, uh, they, they adored like this stuff. Uh, and, but, you know, like, uh, after all that work, like nobody looked at it. <laughs> so, you know, what, uh, got like a uh, hundred views, 12 likes. Um, so what, what value was there in, in spending all that time and making all those sacrifices, you know, like in in all that time I spent working on this drawing, I could have, you know, I could have spent more time like hanging out with my friends or in, improving my YouTube cred on my, you know, my gaming channel. Like I could have could have been making a cute girl laugh or petting a parakeet, you know, whatever those uh, things that humans happen to enjoy. I could be doing all that stuff, but. Instead, I decided to essentially uh, give those things up so I could work on this. And sort of the reason I wanted to do that was because <clears throat> there was, there was, there were ideas I was trying to articulate. And, you know, those are things that don't just they don't just come out of thin air. They don't just fall into your lap. They're things that you have to accomplish on your own. And the only way to do that is to give up, you know, the other things that you love. Um, so what was it here that I was trying to articulate? 
Well, I don't know. Like, uh, I know a, a lot of people do like uh, Gundam. Like, uh, they they really like mechanical design. Uh, and essentially, like, I, I know Gundam is fictional and all that type of stuff, but it's 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 fairly similar to a lot of other hobbies. So. So if I could sort of distill uh, the idea of Gundam into one word, that idea would be agency. So agency is the ability to do what you want. And that might sound like a really generic frou-frou definition, but just just uh, kind of hear me out for a moment. So uh, you have to kind of just take a step back and realize a lot of people don't have agency they don't have they don't really have that much control over their lives they don't you know they don't have a lot of money they don't have a lot of time they don't get to decide what they do with their time uh, they don't get to go where they want to go and when it comes to a lot of men and a lot of men's hobbies that's essentially uh, what they're focusing on they're focusing on uh, essentially a lot of men's hobbies are the worship of agency like we we value things that uh, make us effective and you'll you'll see that in things like uh, like uh, lots of sports like uh, that's basically athletic agency uh, you'll see that in like lots of like uh, racing sports when it comes to things like uh, cars and motorcycles, uh, machines and engineering. So machines are essentially a way to augment a person's natural agency. Like you use technology and skill and resources to improve your own personal agency. And while and while, you know, mobile suits and Gundams, they're fictional, like in that fictional universe, they are the pinnacle of that ideal. Like, uh, they are the perfect culmination of technology. Like, uh, you know, in my story that I did this drawing for, I'm basically trying to push the limits of engineering and push the limits of physics as far as it can go, you know, and still remain plausible. <laughs> Uh, you know, not that giant robots are plausible, but I'm, I'm trying to push that to its bleeding edge to see, you know, what, what comes out of that. And this mobile suit is sort of the articulation of that. And sort of the reason people value agency is because um, people just naturally don't have a lot of it. I mean... Like just just look at this mobile suit. It's 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 perfect. It's uh, incredibly strong. Like it's incredibly dangerous. Like uh, it's indestructible. And in some in some sense, like uh, even if it gets broken, it can be fixed. It's practically immortal. And just take those concepts and reflect it back on like yourself, like your well just people overall like uh like people they they get old they get sick they die or they're they're unhappy they're they're miserable they they can't speak up uh, maybe they're not smart like maybe they can't see very well just or maybe they don't uh, they just don't have a lot of connection with other people. Like, people are lacking in so many ways. And I, I suppose to... To sort of uh, answer... Like, uh, like how... Like, what is it you need to be? Like, and what is it you need to have? What is it you need to attain and achieve... Uh, sort of like a to answer that like uh, I, I suppose that the most appropriate 
uh, form the answer would take <laughs> would be a Gundam, just sort of a play on Trace Kush Renata's words. And so, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. So, this drawing is, it's sort of, it's sort of my way of articulating those ideals. And I know a lot of people, they have like, uh, they have their own beliefs. Uh, they have, uh, concepts or ideals that they aspire to. But, uh, in my opinion, like, uh, ideals, they don't really have merit or value until they're articulated, uh, until, you know, something comes out of it. Like you, you have to take your ideals and your beliefs. You have to, um, you have to make them into something. You have to act them out. You have to embody them. And so this was just uh, sort of my way to do that. So, uh, yeah, I think I've been uh, going on for long enough. I, maybe I left something out, but yeah, so yeah, I guess, uh, that's that chapter of my life. <laughs> it's been real cool. Uh, it's been really real in a lot of ways and yeah and in a lot of ways also very painful yeah i had to i had to give up a lot to do this but um yeah i guess not a lot of people have the opportunity to even sacrifice in the ways they choose but anyway guys uh hopefully even a little bit of that makes sense to you so yeah, I guess we'll leave it there for now. Um, thanks for giving me your time. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.